Okay, so I'm at uh, Cynic 2014 with Peter Daffern. Am I pronouncing that correctly? You are. I, know. I yes. normally call you the Photon Beard. The Photon Beard, but, that, uh, that works fine. We are Ed Photon <laughs> Beard. Uh, I guess you've got a couple new products for the show. We've got two, two brand new products and, and one that we launched here last year in prototype form, okay. uh, which is now in, in full production. So this uh, is a fluorescent... Uh, it's a fluorescent one by one panel. Okay. Um, we have a problem with a lot of the LED panels that uh, uh, spectrally they're not very good. Okay. Um, so this uses the same phosphors as the studio fluorescents. Okay. So the, the quality of the light is, is much better. Um, and it shares a lot of the, the, the great features of the one by one. Uh, it can be battery powered, it's dimmable, it can be tungsten or daylight by changing the tubes. Interesting. So this is, uh, this is now in full production and, and uh, it's been shipped out around the world. Uh, it's been quite successful. Cool. So I guess it, uh, like, I mean, like, what is the power consumption that we were talking about? This, this is 75 watts. Okay. So on, on, on this battery, which is a, a 98 watt hour battery, it will run for about an hour and 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I guess it's interesting too, and the, now that we talk about it, like, you know, I guess luminous efficacy of fluorescent is actually quite similar to that of LEDs. It is, especially yeah. once once you consider that the, the LED is a is a point source. Yes. And so the first thing a lot of people have to do is, is put uh, some diffusion on the yes. front, and as soon as you do that, you start to lose light output. So actually, fluorescent is is more efficient than LED currently. Okay, and for for soft light. Type. For soft light, yeah. absolutely. Okay. I guess that's Fold and Beer's stance is that for soft lights, you guys are going to use fluorescent. Exactly, okay. that's Excellent. right. Excellent. Uh, uh, ballast frequency or what, what kind of shutter speed uh, frame um, rates are we able to deal with? I'm not sure. Uh, it's, a, it's a high frequency ballast. I'm not okay. exactly sure. It's, it's going to be up around 85 kilohertz, something like that. Okay, I see. Um, so, you know, so fairly quick. It, it's, okay. it's, it's, yeah. It's flicker free um, because actually on the fluorescent the, the flicker is more to do with the random collisions of the, of the phosphors um, when they're getting excited in the tube. So oh, well, less to do with the ballast. Really. Less to do oh, with the really? ballast. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So that's that. That's that's. I've been calling this our half new product because okay. uh, <laughs> we we, ha we had it here last year. This is a. I you guess you're using a Sony V mount battery in the back here. Well, we on on here we got a V mount, but you've also got a a, a, a gold mount plate. Okay, so um, either plate. Because and, and it can be mains powered as well. Okay. Um, this will operate on 11 to 17 volts DC. Okay. Um, so you you can run it off a car, cigarette lighter. You can run it off a little mains power supply. Um, cool. Camera batteries. I guess. How heavy is this thing? Like, well, obviously, without the battery and without the. Uh, without without the battery, it's a, it's around about two and a half kilos, I think. Yeah, about two, yeah two, okay. 2 .7 kilos. So it's relatively lightweight, um, and and you know, you, again, with, with with the battery, it's it's it's, it's possible to you know, some, right. so, somebody could hold that for so. for a little while without without feeling too uncomfortable. So handling is pretty much, it's much like a LED one by one. It's, it, it's yeah, aimed yeah. at exactly that market. So uh, we, we, we sort of took that all into account. Okay. The, the other thing that we thought might worry people was um, when, when, when you want to transit with this, we thought people might be worried that the tubes would, would break. But actually, now you've got a really solid unit yeah. um, that you know, you, you're not going to break those tubes. Right. And then if you're working in, in, in a very tight situation, um, you can also take that off and then you've got a very low profile. Uh, and now, now you have got very similar to... Okay. Uh, in terms of spread of light now, like uh, without that front, uh, I guess without the barn door... Without the barn thing, doors... Like, is it fairly, so, fairly it's, symmetric, it, I guess? Or? Yeah, it, it's, it's, now, it's now around about a 70-degree 70, 70 beam angle. Uh, the, the, the barn doors are there mainly just to try and give it some, some focus. Okay. Um, so it, it, it is brighter in a smaller area with the barn doors on. Okay, excellent. But if, if you're working in a confined space, you can just use it like this. Okay. Uh, I guess uh, US retail, how much are we talking about? Uh, US retail is uh, it's just $1,100. Oh, okay. Yeah, 1150 dollars Cool. Yeah. And uh, I get where can someone actually Photon Beard? Where who Pho Photon you? Beard? We, we, we have a website www.photonbeard.com. Okay. Uh, and on there we, we have a web shop as well. So you could either go, go to a local dealer, depending where you are in the world. We have a number of local dealers. But if if, if there isn't one or you want to buy it directly, um, there's a web shop there that you can buy it from. Uh, and pay with PayPal or credit card. Oh, okay, fantastic. Yeah, cool. Uh, I, you have a couple other products. Let's take a look. Yeah, this this next one is is absolutely brand new. 
Um, th th this is this is still very much a prototype. Okay. Um, in fact, we, we, we flew here on Wednesday of last week, and the first time we powered this up was on Monday evening at five o'clock. <laughs> so we powered it up, it worked, and we said, right, it's coming to Vegas with us. <laughs> this is this is our first LED luminaire. Oh, okay. Uh, we, we, we've held back from um, showing publicly any LED product because for one reason or another, every sort of LED unit we've looked at, we've, we've never quite felt that it's right for the market. It's either been too expensive or it doesn't work very well um, or the quality of light isn't very good. Yes. So we, we've spent a lot, lot of uh, time and money looking at LED and as I say we, you know, we haven't ever found anything that we felt was worth bringing to market. This works using remote phosphor technology. Okay, I was just going to ask. Okay. Yes. So this is yeah. this is exactly the same technology that Cineo are using. I see. Um, uh, a glass panel with the phosphors embedded in, and then the, uh, you have blue LEDs that sit just behind that, okay. and they excite the the phosphors and generate the, the the white light. The beauty about this technology is that. We, we have total control over the, the phosphors that are in that sheet. So we can be sure that we're producing exactly the color temperature that, that we want, and we have control over the, the amount of the spectrum that is in there, and repeatable over many times. Right. So consistency and accuracy are easily achievable with, with, with this product. That does mean too that you can manipulate the color temperature of the spectrum of the light by just changing the front exactly. panel. Okay. And then are there plans to be offering a range of different color temperatures? Yes, or? I mean that, 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 that's something we've, we've been talking about here, here at the show. Uh, I mean this, this prototype is, is um, a, t a tungsten balanced one at 3200. Okay. Um, that was simply because it, it was that one was easily available to us okay. um, to prove that it works. All right. We expect the production units will be um, a, a daylight version, 5,600, 5,400. But also, they, it will hopefully be interchangeable, that, that the customer will be able to, um, using a bayonet attachment, un unscrew the reflector on the front, okay. change the glass, so they can have either tungsten or daylight. Okay. Um, but as you rightly say, the, the the options are endless. You know, uh, yes. I see that Cineo are doing uh, green ones for chroma key work now. Yes. Um, so you know, we could do green, we could do blue, we could do red. So you could have RGB um, in this. Although if you if you're doing RGB, then then you probably you're not worried about consistency and and, and such like. Yes. So there's there's better ways to do RGB. <laughs> yes. Um, but. The options are there. Cool. Um, give me an idea, like you know, like what what is the planned wattage for this unit this, or the or equivalent this, Thompson This wattage? consumes 80 watts. Okay. Um, and it gives the same lumen output as, as a 300 watt tungsten lamp. Okay. So you, you you're getting 6,000 lumens out of this. So it's a roughly equivalent to to a 300 watt. Okay. So is is remote phosphor technology less efficient than kind of regular LED in a way? Or it's I'm, it's not so much that it's less efficient. Okay. It's it's that we because the the remote phosphor, as the name sort of um, hints at, in, in a regular LED, those phosphors are just embedded in the glass around the LED. Okay. The, the LED itself is, is still blue, yeah, okay. um, and, and the phosphors are embedded in, into the LED itself. By using remote phosphor, it's exactly the same idea, right. um, but because it's now removed from the LED, you have control over it. Okay, I see. So, and yeah. in, in, in theoretically, they should be equally efficient. Yeah. Like on the, okay, I see. Uh, I guess you know, like weight. You know, I guess weight and planned the, price. Um, I'm not sure we've weighed this yet, have we, Simon? Do we know roughly how much this weighs? Uh, no, I don't know. No, okay. we, we, is, we, it, we, is it heavy? Is no, it? I mean, <laughs> okay. this, 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 this is even lighter because this, this is a, a, a polycarbonate um, housing. Okay. Uh, and, and I mean, without without the battery, that I'm guessing that's about two kilos. Okay. Um, may, maybe a bit less than that. Um, Price-wise, it's it, Again, we haven't finalised it, but we're we're estimating it's going to be around about fourteen hundred dollars. Okay. Uh, there's, a, there's a, a dimmer on the back there, so you can you can you can dim it up and down. Um, and it, uh, a similar capability to like kind of an open face par, but just with a different type of. Okay. Yes, it's, cool. uh, it's 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 not focusable. Okay. Um, it's, it's it's just you know on. But okay. the other nice thing is that 
that you, you, you get some nice single shadows with this. Right. You know, un un unlike a lot of LEDs where you, where you get multiple shadows, right. here you get them some nice hard edge shadows. Yeah. Well, this is it's basically it's now a single light source, not a compound exactly. light source. That's that right. said, though, I've noticed a lot of the LEDs, like, especially say when you go towards like Fresnels and that kind of thing, like, they do mix really well now, too. Yeah. So, but yeah. cool. Uh, so, you know, interesting. That's, that, that, that's brand new. Okay. And again, this works on 11 to 17 volts okay. DC, so, so battery powered or mains powered. Okay. And then would it be normally pa packaged, I guess, with a battery plate, or would you have to provide your own? We, we, normally, we would sell it just with a mains adapter, because okay. um, we don't know whether the customer has a gold mount, Battery or a V-mount battery, yeah. um, and, and also we, you know, we're not in the business of selling batteries, so most people already have their their existing battery stock. Okay. So the the battery plate will be an option, but it will come with a mains power supply out the box. Excellent. Um, and I think you have one well, more yeah, product. One yeah. more brand new product. Cool. <laughs> it you is. Might, you might need to. Uh... <laughs> okay. So. This is uh, what we've nicknamed or what we've called uh, the Platinum Blonde. Okay. We've been making uh, a two kilowatt tungsten blonde for 40 years, 50 years, I don't know, a uh, long time. And for a long, long time, it's been a, it's been an absolute staple of the of the lighting industry. I guess uh, I, uh, just to recap too, I think Photon Beer is probably the first company that used the redhead name. Like you guys created the redhead. Yeah, there's, there's a bit of argument in, uh, okay, as, okay. as to exactly who did that, but certainly we were amongst the first. I mean, we're 132 years old this year, <laughs> so uh, uh, you know we, we we probably have a fair claim on it, but. Uh, I wouldn't like to categorically state that, that we invented it. Fair enough. Uh, but <laughs> certainly we were one of the very early people with, with redheads and blondes. Uh, and then we, we, we noticed recently that there's a, a 1.2 kilowatt uh, lamp, HMI lamp, that would physically fit in, in, in the blonde housing. Um, and so we said, well, let's, let's try and adapt it to, to take that, that, that lamp. It's taken us quite a while because the, the, the cooling has been a, a big issue. Yes. Uh, with this sort of product, you really don't want to have a fan in there because the sound guy will just go spare if, if, if there's a lot of uh, fans around. Yeah. So it's taken us a long time to um, uh, to work out the, the cooling to best effect. But this, this particular lamp that's in there and, and, and on now has currently done around about nearly 140 hours we, we, we estimate okay. um, and it's also got a lot of miles because it started life in Los Angeles it's been to London three trade shows in London it's been to Dubai trade show in Dubai back to London then it flew out with me to LA and then to Vegas and then it's going to San Francisco after this so it's got a lot of miles on it as well as a lot of time um, and here here at the show we've been coming in at uh, nine o'clock in the morning switching it on and at six o'clock in the evening we switch it off and it's just been running all day with no problems at all. Okay. So we're 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 really pleased with it now, and, and um, it's it, it will be in it will be in production in the next three to four weeks time. Um, now now that we've sort of ironed out all, all the little wrinkles with it. Cool. So basically, you're getting you're getting like a was it is this like a two kilowatt HMI and a one point two kilowatt? It's it's it's, it's, it's one point two. Uh, kilowatt HMI in terms of equivalent tungsten it's going to be quite high I, I don't know exactly how many it is okay. but this this is aimed um, at the um, location market where all, what you're looking for is raw power right. as much light coming out the front as possible because normally this sort of light will either be bounced off the ceiling yes. or punched through a silk or that sort of thing right. and the beauty with this design is the only thing between the light source and the light coming out is, is a clear UV filter glass to take out some of the UV. Right. So, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll switch it off and you can have a look at the sure. at the reflector design. And you can, you, oh, you, wow. you can see that, you know, we, all we've got is, is a, a clear UV glass. Okay. Um, and then the, 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 the holes in there are where we've had to cut it to get, to get airflow flowing through. Um, but 
I know this is turned off now, but you know, I, 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 can, I can hold this with my bare hand. This is the, the focus uh, knob, which uh, is another new unique feature because normally a bar lamp like this, you, you, you can't focus. Yeah. Here, here you have some spot flood, um, so you don't need to put in drop-in lenses. Right. And, and I can touch that with a bare, bare hand. There's no problem there at all. Up, up here it gets, it, it gets quite hot. I wouldn't want to <laughs> leave my hand there, but at least I've got skin left after uh, touching the top there. <laughs> <thing. laughs> But this is surprising too because I guess normally a head like this, like say if we're talking, yeah, a typical like 1.2 kilowatt, like in like uh, like an RE can or something like that, would probably be like almost triple this size. Exactly. It's like, yeah. This is actually it, very it's tiny. very compact yeah. uh, and also you know light light lightweight. Uh, I can I, 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 I can yeah. I can hold that with, 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 with one hand, which again you know you something like an uh, an RE M18. Um, you, you certainly wouldn't want to yeah. try and hold that with one hand. Um, <laughs> cool. Um, you got a price? Is it shipping already? It's not shipping yet. It will be in about three to four weeks' time. Okay. Um, the price, complete head ballast lamp, barn doors, uh, is going to be around about five thousand dollars. Okay. That's reasonable. Cool. And the ballast, uh, you guys don't manufacture the ballast. Whose we, ballast is that? Uh, our, our sister company manufactures the ballast. Oh. The, the, the ballast is a uh, power to light ballast. Okay. Power to light are, are a, a UK manufacturer of HMI ballasts. They, they, they do everything from 200 watt up to 24k. Okay. Um, and we, we've been working quite closely with them. In fact, they do all the electronics in, in, in our head. So the DMX boards, the ballasts for the square one that we showed at the beginning, they're all manufactured by Power to Light. So they're, they're our electronics company. Okay. Excellent. Uh, so we have a very good relationship with them. Cool. Uh, anyway, Peter. Again, thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, and probably see you at Cynic. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you.